Hello everyone, I'm uh, pleased to welcome you on our AWS Challenge Kickoff webinar, uh, which will be, bring you closer to the Challenge Rules and AWS Services Introduction. Uh, I'm Konrad, I'm Vestby representative, uh, and I will be in touch with you during the whole registration process. Uh, so if you have any ongoing questions regarding challenge while applying, please feel free to contact me. Uh, I will be happy to answer all of the questions. Uh, I will also provide you uh, with my email address via chat, uh, so it will be much easier for you. Uh, I would also like to tell you a few words about uh, Vestby. Uh, and Vestby is a matchmaking platform connecting startups with leading investors. Uh, so after applying to AWS AI Challenge, you can also fill the information in your profiles on Vestby. And after that, we will be happy to further increase your reach among investors. Uh, apart from that, when you complete the profiles, we will turn on links, features on your accounts. So instead of sending pitch decks to investors as you usually do, uh, you will also be able to send the whole profile with pitch deck in it. Uh, and of course, also track the links openings. Uh, on the platform, you can also find a discount marketplace, uh, which is a place where you will find AWS credits and other discounts and bonuses from our partners. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, right now, together with our strategic partner, Amazon Web Services, uh, we organize AWS AI Challenge. So regarding any orga organizational questions, uh, you can always reach to me. Uh, and right now, I give the stage to Marek Zamuinski from AWS, uh, who will tell you more about the challenge, uh, the rules, uh, and uh, AWS services. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Mark Zamuinski. I'm in AWS responsible for the startup ecosystem in Central and Eastern Europe. And uh, I'm working with uh, venture capitals uh, and, uh, and startups. Um, and uh, I'm also responsible for uh, several programs which we have launched for, the, uh, for this community and are active on CE. So my role today uh, as a co-organizer of, uh, of this uh, challenge as, as a strategic partner uh, to Vestby uh, is to explain how the uh, challenge looks like and what we can do together. So, the first, uh, let me start uh, not from the boring discussion, not from the boring presentation about AWS, because my assumption is uh, this group on the call uh, knows uh, what the cloud services from AWS are. Let me just uh, admit that uh, we are uh, a cloud leader uh, perceived by Gartner uh, for 10 consecutive year. So, that's uh, the mandate uh, for us to uh, launch such programs and to and to uh, help uh, startups uh, to go to grow and to promote the startups uh, which we are cooperating to this is a huge community of the startups cooperating with us i don't want to go through all these names that's uh, completely impossible uh, in the worldwide uh, emea and uh, cross ce as well uh, we are working also with the broad network of the organization supporting startups so uh, that's that's the purpose is uh, for example and the demonstration of that cooperation is uh, in case of uh, of Westby uh, so in uh, CE we are partnering with around of 200s of venture capitals and startup organizations uh, so AWS AI Challenge. Uh, let me let me uh, show you what's that, why that was uh, set up, and uh, what's within for you. Uh, this is the second edition of the challenge, uh, which we uh, launched uh, in 2020. And initially, that was an experiment uh, driven for Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, out of uh, 100 of the startups participated, which was our expectations, we finally got uh, 300 of startups signed uh, to the challenge. Uh, 
68 of them uh, were qualified as a startup, as a challenge finalist. So uh, 68 uh, qualified applications we got. And there was uh, 47 uh, finalists uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a result of this challenge. According to the results, according to the, um, to the um, positive uh, feedback which we got, uh, from you, from the community, and uh, we have decided to um, not only to relaunch uh, the challenge this year, uh, but also to cover a broader region, which is EMEA. Uh, now we expect, uh, based on the feedback, based on the first uh, research which we made, we can expect uh, even more than 500 of the startups to join. And uh, what's more important, last year we have, if I could remember, around of 20 venture capitals participated in that uh, in that challenge uh, now our ambitions is to uh, get uh, confirmed 50 uh, of them so this is also the community very important community which uh, is partnering us in this uh, in this project and uh, this is also a very important community for you as a startups uh, potentially searching for uh, investments and uh, and uh, mm, and overall support from uh, this community uh, process for onboarding venture capitals is in progress Currently, we have a smaller group of them just confirmed. However, that progress, that process is in progress, as I said, and uh, new of them are joining day by day. <clears throat> what the challenge is? Uh, Definitely the purpose of this challenge is to promote and help you to grow. Uh, we are talking about AI startups. What does it mean, AI startups? Startups uh, who decided to take AI technologies, whatever it is, uh, as a core of the business or even important part, part of the business. So uh, they must implement at least one of the services and at least uh, one of the workload of uh, AI technologies, AI solutions uh, within their business to uh, participate in this challenge. Um, this challenge, this is not a contest. This is very important differentiator uh, to the other challenges on the market. Uh, everybody who will met the um, criteria, uh, I will tell about them a little bit more uh, after, will be qualified as a challenge finalist. So there is uh, not limited number of the challenge finalists. So as you can see, this is definitely, this is not a contest. This is acceleration program. We bring to you several uh, benefits, uh, which we are proud to offer you. And uh, we strongly believe that according with our partners, that together with our partners, uh, uh, we will uh, have a positive impact on your growth and uh, promotion on the market. Uh, the challenge is organized by Westby. Uh, from the former point of view, we are the uh, we are the strategic partner. We are the sponsor of this. Um, what's more, um, who can participate? Um, as I said, AI specialization, uh, at least in one workload, this is a mandate to take a part of this challenge. There are three scenarios uh, which we can accept uh, to take a part uh, in this project. Uh, the first, uh, which is obvious, uh, startup uh, build the project on AWS infrastructure using at least one of the approved AWS AI services. This is very strict uh, criteria. And there must be at least one AWS AI services used uh, to be approved for the challenge. Uh, the second scenario is uh, the project was built before on AWS and, and is live uh, at the deadline of the, of the challenge. And the third scenario is uh, project was built on any other platform before and as a part of this challenge will be moved on AWS. So in that case, that project will be also uh, approved uh, to take a part of the challenge. In case of migration, I'm here. Uh, 
directly to me or through Conrad, please reach us and ask uh, for the support if you need any support uh, in case of the migration. We will help. Um, the third point about the, who can participate is uh, project must be a real life working solution at the deadline. So uh, we are not accepting uh, just the PowerPoint uh, coded uh, solutions because uh, there are strict criteria. I will uh, go through all of them uh, just for a moment. Uh, and some of them are related to the projects which must to be uh, really deployed. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, criteria which I uh, mentioned before, uh, at least one of the approved AWS AI services must to be used uh, in the solution. So, who can participate? I hope that's uh, more clear. Um, AWS AI services list is in front of you. Uh, please remember that on the landing page of this uh, challenge, uh, there is also a link to the terms of participation. Uh, yes, I know this is a boring, long uh, document. However, please go through uh, just to omit uh, potential situations when you will not understand something in terms of the rules, in terms of the, you know, for example, there is a list of the uh, AI services uh, list uh, which will be approved uh, in the um, in this challenge uh, please go through this document just in case uh, in terms of the timeline uh, now to get today we have a kickoff webinar uh, and the function of this kickoff webinar is uh, definitely informative uh, to let you know all the information required to participate in the challenge. Uh, after me, uh, Sebastian will give you some uh, lights on the um, on the AI uh, and data insight technologies, just to build the foundation for 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 your work. Um, next, uh, until the deadline, which is uh, October 29th, uh, when we expect the applications uh, to be uh, submission of the applications to be closed, uh, there is a time when we plan also to support you directly. So there will be a time for office hours. I will I will elaborate a little bit more uh, after. And uh, after uh, October 29, uh, there will be a jury working and assessing your applications. And uh, November 16th, we plan to announce uh, the results. And after that, uh, the top 10 of the, um, of the startups of the challenge finalists, which will be named challenge uh, masters, uh, will be invited uh, to the pitching session. Uh, this is the timeline is uh, how to apply. It's definitely very easy. Uh, you have the landing page, uh, so please click apply here. Please register to uh, VestB, and uh, after registering to VestB, there will be a form uh, which you can, which you should uh, fill in. Please be specific. Please be uh, detailed because at the end of the day, uh, we will check a lot of information there as a part of the assessment uh, as, as assessment process, right? So uh, there will be section my applications in the menu and that's uh, definitely very easy to, uh, to feel that there are not so many information requested. Please remember also to sign the marketing consent because uh, part of this challenge is uh, as I, as I said at the beginning, the purpose is to promote you. So uh, we will invite um, challenge finalists and challenge masters uh, to be uh, to be invited. Uh, <laughs> that's the complex formula because uh, that's a complex process. Is at the end of the day. However, we will invite you to take a part of the process to be the AWS reference, uh, and that kind of the consent is uh, is important for us. Um, 
how to apply, uh, what kind of documents, what kind of how how application looks like. Uh, on the website, you can find AI ML store uh, template. Uh, this is a little bit different template than in the last year. There are some more information required, and there is also some more flexibility. Um, uh, flexibility possible uh, because uh, that was our lessons learned. You really want to tell us uh, about your story in uh, different uh, in di in different words, uh, which are uh, usually out of the out of the blueprint, out of the out of the template. So feel free uh, to add some words from you. However, please try to keep uh, the template uh, as a, as a, as a, as a leading. Uh, format because that will be much, much easier, definitely much easier for the jury uh, to assess all these uh, projects. Um, yes, because the uh, template was designed to support the criteria which we decided to take uh, under the consideration for uh, for this challenge. Uh, please prepare the very short video presentation to let us know uh, how, uh, what are you doing, uh, and as I as I as I said before, marketing consent. Uh, this is also an important document which need to be uh, sent as a part of the application. Uh, qualification, uh, qualification criteria. Um, application need to be need to be submitted. Complete application need to be submitted on time. Uh, as I said before, solution solving a real business problem and must to be working. Uh, must to use. The, at least one of the approved AWS AI services. And that's all uh, for the qualification. Uh, how evaluation will look, will look like? Uh, there are five criteria, innovation, business support, sellability, complexity, and positive impact. Um, we will assess all these areas. There is sixth uh, criteria because uh, in this challenge, on top of the AI, we would like also to start to convince startups to use not only AI as a core business, but we really would like to convince you to start using data coming from the AI workloads to um, create additional workloads, to create additional business models, to create additional revenue sources, just to start to, to, to monetize the data and the insights. So for that purpose, uh, there are AWS data analytics uh, services, and uh, that's the huge difference to the last year's uh, challenge is uh, there will be additional criteria where you can get extra 10 points. Okay, uh, what does it mean points and how the definition of this criteria looks like? Uh, for Every criteria you can get uh, points uh, between zero up to 10. And so uh, as you can uh, quickly uh, count that, that maximum number of the points which you can get is 60. Uh, including this uh, sixth uh, criteria, which is AWS data analytics usage. I will distribute that uh, presentation through the landing page. So you can, uh, you don't have to uh, go through this uh, definition just right now. And uh, you can you can go back. Uh, by the way, the definition is also included in the uh, terms of participation document, which is on the landing page. Uh, finally, about the evaluation, how it looks like. As I said, uh, 60 points, this is max. Uh, to be approved uh, as a challenge finalist, you need to take on top of this uh, basic criteria, just like uh, one of the AWS services, AI services must, must be used, the solution must be working. You need to get minimum 30 points to be qualified as a challenge finalist. Um, as I said at the beginning, uh, there is no maximum limit of challenge finalists. So everybody who will uh, meet all these uh, criteria, including these uh, 30 points as a minimum threshold, uh, will be uh, will be a challenge finalist. And top 10 out of all the challenge finalists uh, will get the status of challenge masters and will get uh, access to the special benefits. Uh, benefits. 
This is the table which shows uh, how the benefits looks like. Um, the foundation of uh, this program, this is, uh, we are using uh, AWS Activate uh, credits. So all the regulations, all the rules uh, out of the AWS Activate program uh, will apply here. Uh, all the participants as, uh, mm, as, uh, as uh, just from the fact that uh, you are assigned to, to the um, to the challenge, you will get an access to the 10K level. Uh, challenge finalists will get an access to the 25K level, uh, and challenge masters will get a, um, an access to the 100K level in activate credits. Um, just for a moment, I will explain how it works. What does it mean levels? Because this is very important to understand how that financial engineering works. That's about the credits. The, these credits uh, will be a foundation to launch the solution, to work on the solution, to, to migrate the solution from another uh, another infrastructure to AWS. This is, this is for you to let you uh, do that uh, at no cost. And uh, 25K and uh, 100K, these are the levels, beneficial, beneficial levels, uh, which should support you in the next years of your uh, activity. Uh, the next benefit is uh, connection to venture capitalist community. We will do kind of the matchmaking activity within the content, within the challenge uh, for the challenge finalists. Um, challenge finalists and challenge masters will get an invitation to AWS Connections program. This is a very unique program where we are ma doing matchmaking between the startups and uh, our enterprise customers, AWS enterprise customers. Uh, of course, there is, no, there is no guarantee that there will be a um, relevant request from our uh, enterprise customers uh, sitting in our database currently. However, the startups which will pass uh, the criteria to be the challenge finalists and the masters uh, definitely uh, will be in this program <coughs> Uh, definitely will be in this program, uh, we'll see uh, a lot of benefits. Uh, presentation during pitching session, this is the, the, the benefit, as I said, for challenge masters. And there will be two types of the certificates for the challenge finalists and challenge masters signed by VSB and AWS. Um, I can see there are questions uh, on the chat. Uh, please feel free to put the questions. Uh, just for a moment, I will start to answer on them. Uh, support. Mm, so, uh, as Conrad said at the beginning, organizational questions uh, ask VSB. Uh, there is a contact uh, on the on the landing page, so feel free to to use that. Uh, migration to AWS, you can go through Conrad or reach me directly. Uh, technical support, uh, we plan to launch uh, office hours, and the schedule for the office hours and the scale will be explained just for a moment. And we plan resources and education, especially for you. And about the resources, these are also uh, on your, uh, uh, sorry, these are on, also on a uh, landing page. Uh, we have a really good, I think that's my opinion, I hope that your opinion will be also the same, uh, good source of the information. Uh, let me just show you how it works. Uh, is that no that's that's not that window it should be that one yes uh this is the landing page and this is the section for the resources and how the resources looks like uh there is startup hub this is a hub connecting you um, 
to all the resources which we have prepared for EMEA region uh, for the startups. As you can see, there is a startup blog, there is a Twitter channel, uh, there are startup webinars. Uh, the, this is a special section getting started with AWS services, uh, startup academy, startup loft, etc., etc. So. This is the hub uh, consolidating all these links for the EMEA-wide resources. Um, going back to the landing page, uh, I really encourage you to take a part of the startup loft. And I need to ask uh, Vesby to change that link because that link will uh, be directing us directly to events. Uh, but that's uh, that's a small mistake is AWS Startup Loft. Uh, so that's, uh, I suppose that will be the most frequently used uh, place uh, by you because you can reach out through this uh, section to exclusive events, to section of the uh, Ask an Expert and additional startup content. And uh, especially Ask an Expert or let me start from exclusive content. As you can see, there is almost daily uh, webinars happening. There is also a recording available of these webinars. So uh, some of them, which are related to AI technologies, are on the landing page above these quadrants. So please feel free to use that. There is also a section for Ask an Expert. Mm, a lot of our experts, uh, solution architects, uh, industry segment, in, in industry related experts, and some other people uh, are putting there the uh, time slots here. Uh, as you can see, technical English. Uh, Principal solution architect Sebastian Gemski. Just for a moment, you will you will know him. Uh, another solution architects. You can use all of these resources just for you. You can sign up and and uh, use the time slot uh, offered uh, for you. So going back to the presentation. Exactly. As we said, as I said about the office hours, uh, Sebastian Gemski, our principal startup solution architect for CE, uh, prepared especially dedicated for you uh, slots. Uh, there are two per week, uh, a Tuesday and Thursday. There are two slots each day. Uh, you can use that. Uh, you can uh, you can register yourself. You can uh, you can you can book uh, the time, and you can uh, have uh, 30 minutes uh, discussion with Sebastian, asking uh, anything about uh, what you will uh, see uh, the most uh, valuable for you, helpful for you in terms of AI uh, AI services, uh, data analytics services, or any kind of the services. Uh, uh, offered by AWS or any additional uh, things which you can uh, imagine. I hope Sebastian will not kill me, <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, he is very skilled uh, person uh, having a lot of certificates. So I believe he will be uh, able to uh, open on his answer on the on on your questions. In the presentation, you have a direct link to. Mm, slots offered by Sebastian. Uh, on the landing page, you have a link uh, to the Ask an Expert uh, section. But I think that you will be able definitely to, to sort it out. Uh, in terms of the partners, uh, as I said, uh, the maximum capacity in the program which we designed for this year, this is 50 venture capitals. A uh, very realistic number is to get uh, 40, 50 partners in that section. Uh, we will also publish the information about what kind of associations, communities, and startup organizations will join us uh, during the coming uh, weeks. So until the end of of September, uh, maybe the first week of October, I suppose that we will be uh, incomplete. Um, activate credits. This is very important section. And uh, let me answer also that moment on some questions which are on the AM. 
maximum uh, because these credits are also the same credits which uh, apologize for that noise in the background i hope that uh, phone will stop to call in just a moment um these credits uh, are the same credits uh, which you probably get an access uh, before in the uh, aws activate program so uh, and uh, there is a lifetime a maximum of uh, 100 of thousands uh, of these credits per entity per every startups um, if you were a part of the activate uh, program before on the concrete level for example if you participated uh, in activate program before on 10k level then you are on 10k level and uh, asking uh, one more time for 10k level according to the financial engineering you will get uh, no uh, incremental credits if you were before on 20 on 10k level and will you request for 25k level uh, because for example you are the you will be the challenge finalist you will get the incremental uh, amount of credits uh, in the value of difference between the new level 25 5k and the previous level which is 10k so 15,000 uh, of new credits and the same will apply to the um, top uh, limit which is 100 of thousands uh, if you were for example on 25k level and will request for 100 of thousand you will get incrementally 75,000 of the new credits uh, that's the very very important rule is these levels which we have in this challenge uh, are not the incremental amount of the credits so please remember about that that's the that's the first rule is the second rule is as i said the maximum in this program is 100 of thousand to be applied for the uh, for the every entity every project um, these credits cannot be used for anything else just to cover uh, the cost of aws services and the credits are not retroactive so it means uh, that credits will work for these moments when they uh, where they when they are on your account uh, if you will start to use AWS services and the first month of using AWS services will pass, you will be invoiced if you will have no credits. Applying for the credits and getting for credits uh, the next month will not affect the previous month. So you cannot cover the previous bills, the previous, uh, the previous cost of the infrastructure. Only this from this month when the credits appears on your accounts it's also very important uh, rule is uh, exactly this is the slide of the financial engineering what i what i explained just just before please go through uh, these presentations if you have any uh, concerns how it works so 10k 25k 100k these are the levels and uh, crawling through this level you will get the difference between them that's the that's the very important rule is everything about aws activate program you can find on the aws activate uh, program landing page so i encourage you to to visit that uh, that page so from my side, that's uh, everything. Um, in general, we have planned the Q&A session after all the presentations, but let me check if there is some quick uh, to answer. Uh, if startup has credits for a previous challenge, I hope that uh, Oleg, I explained, uh, I, I answered how it looks like. Um, And there is also about the credits, the question, if I was on 15K level, how will it be handled? Uh, in the past, we had some uh, different levels, so but the same engineering looks like. If you was on the 15K and as a challenge uh, finalist, you will get an access to the 25K, you will get the difference, so 10K. 
Okay, the rest of the questions will be answered after Sebastian's uh, presentations. And now, using that occasion that Sebastian is with us, I will stop the screen sharing and let me introduce Sebastian. Sebastian, stage is yours.